Well, I worked for Bert Stern, and uh, we had a shoot with Marilyn in, in 62 in Los Angeles. And we were to shoot Marilyn for several pages in Vogue magazine, a fashion story. I thought she was, at least to me, she was very nice, and that surprised me because I was absolutely the least important person there. If there had been, had been a totem pole, you know, she would have been high up and stern, and I would have been below the ground, I say, on that totem pole. <laughs> Always has a huge question in my mind about these. Yeah. Has she X them out? And I would really love to know why they're X'd out. She didn't like them. But they're extraordinary images. Mm -hmm. How we see ourselves and how somebody else sees us. And still in the middle of all this, she was looking at herself. Yeah. Did you look at her? Mm. When I got the picture, I was alone with Marilyn in the studio, and she sat on the bed wrapped in a sheet. And her head just stuck out of the sheet, so it looked like she was a mummy, more or less, you know, sitting there. And I thought... Uh, I thought I must have a picture of Marilyn because all my friends in Sweden, they would just laugh at me if I said I met her. They would say, tell us another story. And uh, so I asked Marilyn, can I take just one frame of you? And she said, of course. And when I turned around, she had unwrapped herself from the sheet and lay totally nude on the bed. And the first thing I thought, Jesus, I thought, I can't show this picture to my mother. Uh, and But I just acted like, this was nothing, and I took the picture. When the flash went up, she lifted up her head and smiled. I should have taken two pictures. I was very stupid, but uh, I asked for one picture to have as a memory, and I got it, and I, I should be grateful.